Hi guys, I am Jo and this is my June and July book haul because I'm not buying any more books this month. Also, check out my shirt. Hey Bradbury, Fahrenheit 451. It's from Out of Print Books. Yay, I am so excited. Now, their shirts run super small. I usually wear a medium and this is an extra large. I also have a Kurt Vonnegut Slaughterhouse 5 t-shirt and it is a men's large and I usually wear a men's medium. So if you order from them, definitely size up. All right, so the books that I bought. I have kind of not been buying books lately because I have so many books that I need to read. But sometimes I come across some books and I just have to buy them. All right, so first of all, we have my Ghost of Watchmen and Harper Lee set that I have a video about. Then I went to Barnes & Noble one day and they were having an awesome clearance sale and I found these two Mark Twain books. How beautiful are they? So one has the gold pages and the other has the blue pages and one is gold with blue and the other is blue with gold and they're gorgeous. And so these were six bucks each. I had to pick them up for six bucks each. I mean, you'd be a fool not to, right? I wasn't planning on buying many books this month. And uh, then one day my friend and I took our kids to the movie theater and we didn't have anything to do for two and a half hours. So we went to the thrift store and this happened. I got Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. Ishiguro? Ishiguro? Kazuo, Kazuo Ishiguro. Ishiguro. I can say it if I hear someone else say it. I already read this. Uh, a Secret Gift by Ted Gupp. This is how one man's kindness in a trove of letters revealed the hidden history of the Great Depression. And this takes place in Canton, Ohio, which is near where I am from. So I was particularly interested in that. Shortly before Christmas 1933 in depression scarred Canton, Ohio, a small newspaper ad offered cash gifts to 75 families in distress. Readers were asked to send letters describing their hardships to a benefactor calling himself Mr. B. Verdot, who was inspired to help his fellow Cantonians weather the cruelest holiday most of them would ever endure. Over 70 years later, Ted Gupp found the letters in an old suitcase belonging to his grandfather, Sam Stone, inspiring an investigative journey to unveil the lives behind them. What he came away with amounts to a uniquely intimate window of Depression-era America and a shocking new understanding of the grandfather he thought he knew. So that sounds pretty cool, plus it's local history, so. Then I got this one simply because it's just too cute. London life in the 18th century. I mean that cover, it's by M. Dorothy George. It's just so stinging cute, I mean, and also quite inappropriate. It has all sorts of things in it about uh, the people and trades of London, immigrants and immigrants, housing and growth of London, the uncertainties of life. Then I picked up So Big by Edna Ferber because it's a winner of the Pulitzer Prize and I like to read Pulitzer Prize winners. This is a widely regarded as Edna Ferber's crowning achievement, a rollicking panorama of Chicago's high and low life. The stunning novel follows the tra travails of gambler's daughter, Selena Peek de Jong, as she struggles to maintain her dignity, her family, and her sanity in the face of monumental challenges. A novel to read and to remember, New York Times. Uh, then I picked this up at my Goodwill, Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. This is a nice vintage edition. And this is one of those rare novels that have changed the shape of American literature. So, you know me, I have to read that. I don't know much about this book. I don't like to know too much when I go into reading something like this, but I know that it's about uh, race issues and um, the in different areas of the United States. And it is supposed to be an incredible book. So those are all the books that I have bought in June and July. I am not buying any more this month. 
I have plenty and uh, I accidentally went to the library so I got even more. Have you bought any books this month? Let me live vicariously through you. Tell me down below what you got and tell me a great book that you have read because maybe my library has it. Probably not. I will talk to you later. Bye. What did I just say? I don't even, I wasn't even listening to myself.